All right, guys, so we have some news update to kind of quickly talk about. So right at the bat for Global Wise, we are getting the part two of the Happy Anniversary celebration. So let's kind of take a look and see what they are going to be doing. So it looks like we are going to be getting the part two missions for that. So we have that and there's some more limited packs that they are incentivizing in a way. So not much going on. So that is uh, kind of unfortunate right there but in terms of the extreme limited unit so it <laughs> it never makes sense how they are handling global versus how they're handling jp because um it's not how they're presenting in the, the unit in a way it, it, it doesn't matter if this is supposed to be casilla whatever um it's just the fact that they don't really label this one as like a half university unit or whatever so to me that is there even though they call it like calling it like a half university but it, it doesn't seem like it there's not it's not even hype about it so uh kind of unfortunate but we have uh we are going to be getting quibbly at last so they actually just swapped the order for this unit compared to the Kassid so uh, like I said again it doesn't make sense why they're doing it but you know it doesn't really matter uh, but they're still choosing to label it it's just extreme limited they could have simply just kind of called it like a happy anniversary banner but nope they didn't want to do that but uh, anyways we are going to be getting this so this is uh, supposed to work good for the client battle uh, I hope it does because uh, every time they try to release a unit for the corresponding uh, clan battle it usually doesn't work out as intended to be so that's kind of we will definitely have to go ahead and try it out but speaking of clan battle so my clan currently does have some opening so we have two spots that are for open so if you guys are not in a crew um definitely do um, request for that uh, i would say uh uh, so right now uh, me personally i'm not just going to be accepting anyone that wants to join like i would say at least please try to be within the level 100 like your player level has to be 100 or above because um I'm, I'm not trying to just open up to everyone and then if you're like a new player like level one or for example just joining or no i think you have to be level 40 to join i i would say it's not going to be fair to the rest of my other climates so just to make it fair for example at least level 100 and then you should have a shot of getting in so if you guys are trying to look for a clue uh, a, a clan and you guys are at least uh player level 100 definitely do send us a request and then we'll definitely uh, have you guys join but uh speaking of that they are also advertising something else on here so this is i believe it's that time again where they are adjusting the standard banner pool now so let's see what they're ha oh wow all right that's great so finally they are going to be adding and going to be z8 so that's going to be a saturday better unit so uh that's a really good unit i think uh probably many people has pulled already but if you guys have not pulled and uh, that, that's definitely going to be your time to shine if yes and uh, at least pull it within your free daily that would be great and also they are adding in double zeta and then for it as well other than that, I think that should be pretty much it on here. Yep, yep, yep. So this banner, the 72 hours limited banner, that one is only for new players or maybe even returning players they get that banner because that's not a banner that we usually get. So that's only pertaining to the new players. So as for new players, they're right out the bat getting the Quibbly and the Castilla ready so that they can summon for. So that's pretty good. Uh, but other than that, I think that's pretty much all I want to cover for the global aspect. But in JP, JP is actually pretty hype because finally we are getting the uh, two and a half anniversary. And I know a lot of my viewers don't really play the JP version. So I am just going to quickly talk about what we're getting. So we are finally getting the Unicorn Perfect Ability NTD version. Okay. Even the summoning page looks a little bit different but there you guys go and we are finally getting that so this is definitely i guess the unit that they have been holding off for quite a minute and you know it's it should be because um as far as the whole easy timeline is not only the unicorn 
there are still a lot of really covered unit that should have gotten a limited unit and you know that's why it, it takes so long so it, it's definitely understandable but we are finally getting that so that's definitely really pog so and keep that in mind this is only the part one and they are already dropping a big uh, bangers over here so uh, one to have to expect what they are going to be dropping for part two because part two is probably going to be fairly exciting as well in a way so we have that um besides that they are going to be releasing this kind of uh this is not really like an event this is definitely something you can play um i believe there are missions you you complete and you get um chances to roll on over here and then you have uh chances to land on these tiles and then get uh, various rewards so this is actually pretty cool glad they're adding that back and then they have the two and a half year anniversary this is only the first part and uh, it should be pretty good uh definitely do expect a lot of great reward from that and for gp we are getting six thousand diamond right off the bat so that's very really generous of them so two full multi summon there pretty nice and then we are also getting the clan battle for jp all right and i believe this is like uh like an, another short animation they're adding on here if i recall correctly that's the server right there and this is like their live their like their live stream that they did so that's their number 29 for the uh two and a half year anniversary and this is um all right so besides the 6,000 we're getting for the login to celebrate the two, two and a half year anniversary we're also getting i, I believe this is a separate 6,000 for the stream itself probably so um yeah that's pretty good all right so in total we should be getting up to 12k that's really good and a lot of people saw this one and thinking this is the unit from gundam c freedom but this is not if you guys are looking at the emblem of the unit this is definitely from probably vanguard like uh so that's like what crossbone stuff so uh but i think a lot of people saw this one and like, they're like oh my gosh are we getting a collab from sea freedom no it, it's not <laughs> it looks like it but it's not and we are getting this unit that we have got i, I forgot the name of this unit but uh this used to be a free to play unit but they revamp it and make a separate new one so this is going to be our standard banner unit the following next week so in early june we should be getting that so pretty nice how they're doing that pretty cool pretty cool and this is just the short animation for the ex skill so this is actually a lot more because this one actually shows off all of the actual attacks like the main weapon additional weapon and third weapon and all that good stuff so uh they're kind of showcasing it of how they did for uh gundam battle operation so that's kind of cool how they're doing adapting to that so uh that's pretty neat so the additional weapon should be the melee weapon third weapon is going to be the arm arm at the uh the e? or, yeah all right that's pretty nice and then there's the ultimate the ex skill yeah pretty neat um i think overall the animation was just looks pretty clean we have the beam or what is it what was that called is that the uh bs arm armor bs whatever it's called uh yeah that's that's cool and then we have the vn uh, at the end right there that, that's that's pretty nice so this is the detail for the unit so this is going to be a purple general unit as well generic unit. okay wow i'm surprised they're actually coinciding it with global getting a purple generic as well I, i'm pretty sure they didn't plan it like that but uh it's pretty cool um i don't know what it actually does right now but i'm looking at so it looks like on an exq you can inflict something called the uh let me see what this what this was translated to i think this is pretty pertaining to you can inflict one up like one enemy for example and then they cannot recover hp for 10 seconds so that's pretty nutty actually and this one as well so this one at the beginning of the battle when the enemy has that status right there uh that enemy is gonna be taking more critical hits or something like that yeah and then this is a stacking damage more damage right there and then this one getting 60 600 000. Yeah, upper limit, they're raising the upper limit to 60,000. Yeah, 600,000. <laughs> oh my gosh. 600,000 is a insanely high number. My gosh. 
And then for the eight for what is it? When battle star for the first 18 seconds, I believe this is to. I'm pretty sure that kanji is for um, psycho frame units. I don't know what that is. Is that like a guarantee hit or whatever? I, but I think it's a. It's definitely a buff. Oh no, jamming status. There you go. Yeah, jamming status. So I, I don't know what that is. Actually, it's probably a new mechanics in a way. So that's definitely pretty interesting to see. And this one is same thing again. I don't. Is this the same? No, it's not the same as that one. But um, it looks like for for both these two descriptions, whenever the enemy has this status, oh no, the jamming status. There you go. Um, they are taking more attacks and more critical attacks as well. Uh, I I definitely could be wrong on that, but uh, it, it it looks alright. Uh, at, at this first glance, it looks pretty decent. Uh, the transcendent skill is pretty basic. We do have a 10,000 HP recovery uh, on here. You have your basic 50% EX skill gauge fill with the beginning of the battle. So transcendent skill wise, it, is, it looks pretty bare minimum in, in a sense. So I wouldn't expect too much out of it anyways. Uh, but when we take a look at the Nodgers, um, all right, let's see what's going on. So skill one is actually pretty bonkers already because you're getting up to 150% uh, stack already up to. So that's pretty neat. So yeah, just the skill one alone is pretty powerful <laughs> enough already. Uh, but we are getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, if I count that correctly. No, no, six. We're getting six additional skill from skill two. That's crazy, man. Uh, but just like any of the unicorn, you don't necessarily need Banadra again because most of the Unicorn that comes with the Banadra, they are pretty interchangeable already, I would have to say. So I wouldn't necessarily need to pull Banadra again because I do already have a Banadra for the Unicorn NTD. So I think I should be fine if I don't happen to pull this Banadra. Uh, but this one is actually pretty strong. So, so like this one, stacking up to, what is it, 46% up to five times? Dude, that's a that's a monstrous percentage uh, when you add everything up. So yeah, uh, but there, there you guys have it. So the two and a half year anniversary for a JP is so busted, man. They're bringing in so much uh, event back and we're getting this event back where you are able to uh, get the following unit, the following reward as well. So yeah, they're not holding back for the two and a half year anniversary. That's crazy. So um, I forgot what this event was called. But you simply complete various missions and then you can have a chance to get collect so many tickets and you basically whatever you are able to roll you can keep them and then at the end of the week you can get those reward back so uh it's a very very neat event that they're dropping so for global wise i will not expect us to get that anytime soon it's definitely going to be something more towards like near the two year mark i would have to say for global, it's definitely something we can only dream <laughs> to have right now. Uh, but this one, we're also going to be getting a pick tickets for JP. And they actually did list out all the units that we're getting. So that's actually pretty good. So I see Hakashiki in there already. So I think that's definitely a hot pick for sure. But uh, besides that, they're adding some pretty good unit in here as well. But uh, definitely something that I will have to take a look at more closely. But other than that, that is going to be pretty much it in terms of some news update that we are getting actually tomorrow. So let me do know how excited are you guys for the Kubli and then if you guys are playing for the JP version, definitely do let me know how excited are you guys for the NTD or the Unicorn NTD perfect ability. That one is definitely a banger for sure but in my opinion. But other than that, that is going to be pretty much it for me and I'll be catching you guys all on the next one.